Ladies and gentlemen, I'm no good 21 Welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars KOTOR 2 The Sith Lords. Last time, we stopped Darth Nihilus from uh, destroying Telos. Again. Well, technically, he wasn't the first one to destroy it. That was Malak, but you get the picture. Point is, Nihilus is now dead. And we've crash landed on Malachor 5, the start of this entire fucking problem we we're having with the Sith in this game. So we're coming back full circle, and this planet looks like it has seen some shit. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be cracked and glowing yellow-green. Or is that pale gold? I'm not sure actually what color that's supposed to be. Anyway, it's the final episode, so let's get going. And we're by ourselves for the rest of the game, pretty much. The party is either at commission or they're doing their own thing. Lightning gloves and life support pack, I don't really need that. Oh no, I'm setting off gas vents. Whatever shall I do? Do 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 do. Looks like an egg that fell from the sky. Storm Beast. I will deal with you in a minute. Burp Pine Prototype Shields. Okay. Okay, Storm Beast. Let's see what you got. Ow. Well, you can hit me. That's impressive, sir. Oh boy, the fact is that animals can actually hit me is kind of disconcerting. My defense is 42. Hmm. Probably fix that somehow. Oh boy, I'm wandering a fucking maze, aren't I? Oops. I'm sorry, did you just try to force scream me? I don't think that's gonna work for you. You die like a rancor. Why do you have that sound effect? Oh, gotta love using, reusing assets. Kill! Okay. Oh, beast control works. Yes! Fight amongst yourselves, my minions! Solution? Just dominate the beast's mind and have them fight each other. That's an effective strategy. Do I really need to explore? Not really. Oh, looks like you found a piece of a ship. Eh, useless crap. Console. Mineral engine core damage, mineral power, log out. Well, found a piece of a ship that crashed. Actually, no, it's buried. Yeah, it's literally buried in the rock. How the fuck? What the hell did we do to Malachor 5 to cause this? What the hell? Because what Malachor 5 is called a travesty for a reason. Apparently, <laughs> this does not look normal. I'm just going to ignore you, and I'll take the off-road path. Because why not? They all lead to the same place. Alright, that didn't work. Peace confusion. Oh, of course you make your saving throw. Bucket. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting level 31 anytime soon. If all you're giving me is 300 experience pop. 
You have to give me a bit more to that. Ah, fuck, I might as well kill you too. No beast shall live on this planet when I'm through with it. Although, what the hell do these things eat? They clearly look like they're carnivorous animals. They're bipedal. Let's see, they are bipedal lizards of some variety. Huh. They remind me of the hunters from Resident Evil, only more dinosaur and less frog-like. Of course, you wouldn't even know by looking at hunters from Resident Evil that they were made from uh, infected frogs. Wait, are they frogs? I'm pretty sure I read in a file in Resident Evil 1 that hunters were made by introducing the T-virus to frogs. Or was it amphibians? I don't fucking remember. I need to play Resident Evil again to find that out. Oh, great! Orange crystal, thanks! Thanks for that. Oh. Well, there's the Ebon Hawk. Perched precariously on top of spires and sandwiched between the rock faces. Here's hoping it doesn't fall into the abyss. Bad there, you got your work cut out for you to fix that wreck. With Atten and T3. Let's if see. the exile has come here, then he has not come alone. Of course, apprentice. The huntress is with the exile. She has a special talent for finding that which should remain lost. It also makes her difficult for me to sense, not to a creature bred for such things. Shall I send the assassins for her? No, I have brought a beast to Malachor to deal with that one. We shall see if prey can become a predator. Her breaking shall be flesh and bone, or it shall be inside. If she survives, she will become stronger for it. Oh, great, the crew's been separated. And Mira has to deal with Hanhar by herself. Well, here's a surprise. Yet another slice of galactic paradise. Why can't we ever go to Alderaan or Ithor or someplace without metal, jagged rocks, or packs of bloodthirsty beasts? Because that's not where the villains are. Well, Mira has to deal with Hanhar. That's gonna be fun. Alright, let's continue. One word. More storm beasts. Oops. Man, this place is a fucking maze. All I want to do is find the goddamn academy that's on this fucking planet. Kill Scion, kill Kreia, and get the fuck off of this rock. But apparently that's very difficult. Hey, another piece of a ship that's somehow embedded in the rock. Life support pack. Damage console. Engine core damage, minimal power. Is there ever an option to ask Beodor what the hell happened on Malachor 5? I don't think there was. Oops. Because for the player, you can make you could make the argument that uh, blocked it out, removed the memories, amnesia, that sort of thing. But Beodor was here. He saw what happened. He survived what happened. So he should know what happened. And we can't ask him about it. That's annoying. Would you stop trying to poison me? At least I think you're trying to poison me. I'm not actually sure if that actually does anything. At this point, my constitution score is too high. My fortitude save is almost at 30. So unless I roll a 1, I think I'm going to make all my saving throws at this point. Malcor Depths. Okay, that's a new area. Uh, before I do that, let's continue heading down south. North, actually, on the map. Not south. Oh, this place is confusing. Unless all roads lead to the same location. Thank 
you. Oh boy, you're giving me a bunch of useless crap. Punt tight lens. Thanks, game. Thanks. I always wanted one, and I am stuck on a rock. Thanks. Hit detection. Collision data, not hit detection. Those are complete. Actually, no. Collision and hit detection are pretty much the same thing, depending on context. What am I talking about? I am rambling. That's what I'm doing. Okay, and I, I, I need to head to the depths. All right. At base running speed. I probably should have gotten the feet that allows me to run faster. I probably shouldn't have got. I probably should have gotten that. I probably should have chose the runner feet so I can move faster. Marketers don't won't learn a lesson to stop fucking calling. All right, well we have a problem. We're fighting Hanhar again. Fortunately, though, we are much stronger than we were the first time, and we are a, a very skilled combatant. Feats. Hell with it. Plus one to saving throws, why not? Powers, Master Heal. Okay, Honor. Kill. Just let me uh, do my bus real fast. I now have four defense. Oh, Han Har, I think you're gonna die. Oh, yeah. Let's see, there's no need for this. You don't owe me a life debt, or at least you prepare to die then. If letting you live increases your suffering, then I continue to live. Well, considering Mira doesn't want this life debt, the most appropriate choice for her is to pick number one. Yeah, Mira's personality would say this.
Let's go with option two. Probably would have been better just to kill Hanhar, but, uh, yeah, I think having uh, some backup dealing with Kray would be probably be a good thing. Whether or not Meryl actually make it to me is a different story. More you guys. Great. Sorry, pals. My saving throws are too high for you to do anything. Holy crap, that, that guy must have hit landed, right? hundred and forty one damage. Okay, you guys hit hard. I think the enemies actually scale with your level, if I'm remembering correctly. If they were smart if it if they were smart with their programming, they would have scaled them, because otherwise this would be way too fucking easy. I mean, it's easy enough as it is. And I refuse to let the enemy cheat by increasing the difficulty to a harder setting. Because at a certain point, the enemy is just cheating to win, which is bullshit. I'm the only one who should be able to cheat to win, damn it. Not the AI. Oh, more storm beasts. I'll deal with you in a minute. What's through here? Corpses. Force focusing visor. I have no idea what that does. First one plus one, wisdom plus four, regenerative force points two. Okay. I mean, I'd lose my mask. Do I really need it, though? Not really. The higher dexterity isn't helping me very much. I'm just wearing it because it looks cool. And holy shit, you guys hit hard. You know what, I think I'm just going to ignore the side passages, otherwise I'll be here for all- for hours. Trying to find every single s thing. Never mind, it's for- it's been forced out of my hand. Cue a giant rancor showing up. Or just a force beast. I mean, storm beast. Oh, he's a greater storm beast. Beast confusion. No. Or scream. Ow! Okay, he hurts. He hurts really bad. Run away! Okay. I th this is gonna be a bit of a bitch. Okay, we're gonna have to do something about this. What would be the best lightsaber form to have right now? 
have no idea what that is. Uh, defense versus... No. No. It's either going to be Ataru, Ataru, or Juyo. Let's see it. Oh wait, it's Ataru, it's Ataru for this, because it gives me a plus three. Defense against this asshole. Okay. That fucker hits rather hard. It's a good thing I have a reason to use my 60 plus life support packs that I have. Okay. Because Force Healing was not cutting it during that fight. Holy shit, he did more damage than my healing could output. Wow. Alright then. Yeah. Moving on. Let's not do that again. Ah, we found the... We found the Academy. And assassins. Judging from the number and death of the blaster burns, these six appear to be repeatedly killed by fire from a heavy repeater rifle. So... Mandalore or HK? I'm hoping... Actually, I'm hoping it's either one, actually. Hell, it could've been T3 for all I know. But I think T3 would be more helpful for fixing the ship. Huh. I forgot that uh, Malachor is not very big on map size. Hmm. Talk about grandstanding, holy shit. Let's see. Ah, we could have seen the Academy by going to that ledge. Which would have been over here. Interesting. You guys can talk, you know, right? You have the ability to speech. You could just said something. Alright. Just let me walk on through. I say we fire a rocket at her right now and blow her screaming, burning body into the heart of this planet. It wouldn't work. If there were other distractions, maybe. If she wasn't telepathic, maybe. If you want to kill her like that, you need something else to occupy her attention. Otherwise, you might just wound her, and then we'd all be in trouble. This battle will not be decided by weapons. You are wrong. Manipulation is Kreia's strength, not battle. Let us see what transpires, and plan our attack. Well, there's the rest of the crew. Ah, there's Beodera, wondering where he went. Watching this, and what the general suspected was true. The Sith are striking from the graveyard of Manacor 5. The ship the Sith Lord was on was one of the vessels damaged in that final battle. If you reach Malachor's surface, the mass shadow generator can be undone, provided there are enough vessels intact within the orbiting debris or buried in the planet's surface. Use the sequence I am unlocking in your memory banks on the engine core for any vessel you encounter on Malachor. 
if my calculations are correct, four vessels should be enough to power up the mass shadow generator and undo the damage that was done in Malachor 5. The damage I did. Once the sequence has begun, it cannot be stopped. So make sure the general is off the planet before triggering the sequence. Otherwise, there will be no retreat. I know your weapon systems are minimal, and I don't know what awaits you on the floor surface. Try to avoid contact with any potential threats. Follow your programming. Your programming commands you to find four vessels with men, Malachor surface, and activate four engines on each one. Well, we found two. When the engine systems are activated, it will strip the gravitonic anomaly that is keeping the planetoids fused together. Malachor 5 will get the drift to. Hang on a minute! Warning, you have no offensive weapons as you're destroyed. You'll have to fail your mission. Travel across the planet as fast as you can't reach one of the points activate the engine systems one at a time. Hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, 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 back up, back up, back up. Bader, you're telling me you created a device that could take a planet's gravitational field and make it so strong that it takes in ships surrounding it and other, I'm assuming moons or other planetoids, and compresses it into a gigantic ball. And that's what happened to, on Malachor 5. You activate a gigantic fucking gravity well and sucked in everything and crushed it. Damn, Bader, you scary. Well, now what? For fuck's sakes. 1 800 servant. Fuck you! We don't even need you! Fuck off! Pieces of shit. Now, unfortunately, muting the damn thing doesn't even work because it's like, hello, this is the automated answering machine crap. Yeah, 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 fuck off. Ugh. Well, here's the remote. Luckily, there's... Luckily, they're labeled. One question that I have, though, is, uh... Where's Beodur? Proper. Wait a minute. Were we just traveling with a ghost the entire fucking time? Enter sequence for priming mass shadow generator. Searching for matching generators. One found. Generator 25.3% power. Okay. I am a little bit concerned that Beodur is dead. And we've been traveling with his ghost the entire fucking time. Or something like of that nature. Because holy hell. You think he'd be doing this on foot on his own. But apparently, he doesn't have a body anymore. He vanished. Literally. He vanished on the, when we got the Telos. Where the fuck did he go? And on the way to Malachor said he died at Malachor. I, did, I thought that was figurative, not literal. I am very, very confused. Okay, that's two down, two to go. And the other two are probably in the areas I didn't bother exploring. I'm about to find out if this remote can act. Aw, oh, shit. I bet because I didn't kill everything here. Oh, that's gonna suck. The com remote combat droid, it as a wow, those stats suck. Alright, well, here's hoping that enemies aren't here. Otherwise, I'm screwed. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh. Piss and vinegar, and there's no way for me to. Shit.
fuck me, I guess. Oh boy. This is gonna be a bit of a problem. Run like hell. Later. Fuck it, fuck it, don't bother. Run, 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 run. Cancel combat. Windows ban? The fuck? It's unknown whether this simple band was ever owned by the Reclusive Jedi, but it's likely that Jelly would have appreciated its ability to help one walk the lines between the light and dark sides of the Force. Interesting. Well, this remote can't pick things up! That's good. That's good to know. That's very good to know. Haul ass! We break for nobody! Move. Ignore it. There's gotta be a ship around here somewhere. Ah! There it is. Last one. Oh, thanks for the components. And I got a bad feeling about this. Generator 98%. Mass shadow sequence powering up. Sequence primed. Statement. I understand. 
Assassination protocols activated. Let us see what you have in your arsenal, fat one. All I wished was to fulfill my programming. Either way, the Republic is doomed. Observation. I thought he would never die. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is severely not good. We've come a long way, Kreia. Ah, the Huntress. To come alone, you are braver than I thought. She is not alone. We stand with her. And with her stand all the Jedi. And now I come in saying something suitably heroic. <laughs> Children with lightsabers, but not Jedi, I think. Come close. Let me look upon you and see what the Exile's teaching has forged. An assassin. A slayer of her own kin. A blinded slave. And a fool. Which of you wishes to try yourselves against me? As you can see, I am unarmed. You, perhaps. Come, child. Where you walk, it is not far from battle, slaughter, and the blood of your sisters. Everything you will lose by dying. Your lusts unfulfilled, a dance unfinished, a love requited. Think before you give it up so quickly. And you, blind one, you have hungered to strike me down ever since you saw the bond the exile and I share. Can you feel the force running through me, even past the veil, past your bloodied eyes? You know you cannot win. The force runs strong within you, Treya. But in the howling of a storm, it is difficult to hear the whisper of the blade. You have forever been the blind one. You were given a gift few are ever given, and yet you let your gift of sight warp you, twist you. You think your existence under your lord was torture, Miraluka? I will make you see an assassin. That's just what I was thinking. Okay. Well, their plan went, went up shit creek without a paddle. Now Anne has to fight Darth Sion on his own, and that's not a good thing. Oh boy. You know, you people probably should talk to HK about... Well, actually, Anne pretty much knows the way to kill Jedi. Same thing that HK knows. So, I can't really fault him for that, but, uh, yeah, Kreia's not one to be messed with. Only I'm able to do that. And, uh, burst of speed. Can't even use it. Uh, hell with a throw lightsaber. Okay, well, this is gonna be fun. Alright, Darth Sion, let's see how well we do. Stasis. Uh, of course. Oh, don't do drain life, you fucking asshole. You don't need that. You regenerate. And Adam is doing the smart thing. Which is strategic withdrawal. When the exile enters, 
Prince Treo's academy, he will be faced with a choice. One path, assuming he survives, will allow him to save his friends, but he shall be the weaker for it. The other route will lead him directly to this place, through the ones that have hounded his steps from the beginning, and he shall have his vengeance. Show him every respect when he arrives in these halls, Lord Sion. This I command you. Well, shit. Hmm. What do I prioritize? My crew and friends or revenge? I think saving the lives of my crew is more important than revenge at this point. Well, I gotta take care of these assassins anyway. You guys hit not as hard as the beasts outside do, which I thank a lot. Thank you, developers, for being a little bit kind. I'd rather deal with minor damage than a shit ton. I'd rather not be getting hit at all, but, uh... Such is the way of things. Freya's War Blade and a short lightsaber. Stop giving me that! Oh, goddamn loot tables. Okay. Apparently I have two ways to take. Do I take left or right? Um, the game doesn't give me any indication of which one's different. Force wave! Then force scream! Holy shit, you guys actually didn't make your saves! Not bad! Get wrecked! All right. Left or right? Um. I guess we go left first. There's nothing for me to interact with the environment to tell me which way I'm supposed to go. Hi, guys. Oh, you made your saves. Congratulations, sir. There's only so much you can do with melee before it gets kind of repetitive. That was probably unnecessary. Do -do -do. You know what? Let's rock the Juyo form for a bit. I mean, I take a hit to my defense, but I get an extra attack per round, so might as well see if I can make some use out of it. Ho! Oh! Yeah, yeah, a three attacks with Master Flurry sounds good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Juyo's good. Juyo's good. <laughs> I'll take extra attacks, please. I love that shit. I probably should have been using this the entire time since I got it. What's uh, through this door? Hi, guys. Huh? Ember alert! Ember alert! Child abduction. Meadville, 1988 Red Chevrolet pickup. Huh, not bad, Texas speech. That was actually pretty good. Well, I don't live in Meadville. 
and it's... I forget how far it is away from a drive, so... I can't do anything to help with that. I can't even drive, so... Not my problem, I guess. Either the child's gonna be fully re recovered, or... gonna go missing for a couple years, only to end up dead. That's how these abduction cases seem to go. They either, they either get found within a short, in the 42 hour time span, or they end up being killed. What the hell? Treus Prison, Prison, Prison. What says Treus Crescent? Whatever. Hello, assassin. Oh, hey, it's a KOTOR 1 version! Yeah, I prefer the assassin designs in 2. You just look stupid. Okay, Marauder. Point is, you look dumb. Goodbye. And I just realized how low in health I am. Ho! Oh, knife Edge! Knife Edge Deathmatch over here! Fuck you! I did not realize how close to death I was. Oops. Thanks for the mesh suit. Droid Disintegrator. Thanks, I guess. I don't even know where I'm going. Commandos! At least you're colored red. Your armor looks better in red. I could do without your weird face shield, though. Alright. Looks like we've got some cell doors. Empty. There's a corpse. Freed on Nad's blaster. Thanks, game. Nomi's robe! Fucking loot tables, man. This corpse holds a powerful lightsaber crystal made from the emanations of a dying Jedi. Oh, a Huracane crystal. Thanks. I mean, I need a workbench to make it work. Okay, nobody in here. Nothing. Nothing. You know, you think you could give me a label, guys? Here be your friends. Open this door. Malak's armor. Improved automation gloves. What the hell do those do? Plus five to dexterity. <laughs> okay. I really want to rock the robe. Look, I have the equipment necessary. Thanks, game. Hey, you give me a workbench! How nice of you! Yeah, the defense, uh, is a bit of a bitch, but the extra attack is great. Create item armor. I can't make the, uh, underlay that gives me improved fucking dexterity. Uh, fuck you. Ah, damn it. Oh, that is kind of annoying. Actually. Ooh. Hmm. Do I want unstoppable damage? Ah, 
Actually, I need to make a better emitter. Expert fencing? I'll take it. Okay, and we move on. Well, this part was, uh... Ultimately, uh, worthless to me. And apparently the restored content made this place bigger than I thought. Holy shit. Hi, guys. Let's see, we got Dark Jedi Apprentice, Dark Jedi Apprentice. Would you kindly stop shooting at me? Thank you. What'd you drop? Life support pack, thank you. Thank you. I'll gladly take those. It's the only thing worthwhile. Oh! Hello, room. Of assholes. Marauder! Let me tell you something. You are weak and pathetic. I'm literally giving myself a disadvantage by using Juyo, and you guys still can't kill me. I mean, you're hitting me, which is better than some other people that I can name. Holy fucking hell. How big is this place? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You guys keep doing that. I should probably be using something else while I'm fighting against people wielding blasters. Yeah, that'd probably be better. Alright. I mean, you guys are just gonna keep dropping life support packs. I'll take it. And shields I don't use. Holy fucking hell, this place is big. Holy Sith Lords! Well, one Sith Lord. Oh! Well, shit! Okay, I did not expect that. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to go refill my coffee. Okay, and I'm back. I did a little bit of thinking. And since, uh... The restoration mod made the academy seem bigger than I actually remember it being. Cause I... Oh boy. Cause now we have to save the crew. Oh. Well I thought it was gonna be the final episode. Turns out the game decides to say fuck you. You're gonna do more of this and you're gonna like it. Great. 
So I'm gonna call it here, ladies and gentlemen. I've been NoGuy21. This has been Let's Play Star Wars KOTOR 2 The Sith Lords. Next time, I'm gonna see if I can find my crew. But until then, thanks for watching out, worth looting, and I'll see y'all next time.